Well, certainly the appetite here in Brussels is not to reopen negotiations. But let me explain to you where I am at the moment. We're inside the European Council building where the European Affairs Ministers are arriving for a meeting and they're going to be discussing, of course, the exit agreement as well as the political declaration. And that, Jeff, is really where the focus is right now, is on that political text, which will serve as the guideline for uh, the negotiations that will start once the UK leaves in March. Of course, those talks will be about future trade arrangements. So today's meeting is really one of the many steps ahead of the of the summit here on Sunday. Tomorrow that political text is expected to be published. Then the European capitals will have 48 hours to look at that, doc at that document to tell the European Council what they think of it. And then here on Thursday the European Council will start the preparations for the summit on Sunday. Yesterday I heard from um, a spokesperson from the European Commission who told me that President Juncker is available to meet Prime Minister Theresa May this week. There's not a date for that meeting as of yet, of course, because both sides want progress on the political text before they can actually meet. So as you can see, Jeff, here in Brussels is uh, business as usual. We're tracking every single step and bringing you all the latest. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.